Hey guys, Sharpie here. Got a different kind of video for you guys here today. I have a hard drive and I have one of those strange tools, but not one that fits any of these. So I wanted to see if there was an easy way. Normally when you have something you don't have the tool for, you just drill it out. Um, I'm kind of just doing it for just one. I just kind of want to test my theory because um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I'd like to show you guys what's inside of these. Obviously you can see here you have a great um, green board which could be a mid to high grade board um, with some great flat chips on it. Um, and then also you have some gold pins on here. Now these boxes I believe are, are either cast aluminum or, or high grade aluminum. Um, some areas where there may be nothing at, it's not magnetic, but I think there's a motor here and possibly another magnet up here somewhere. So let's test it out. Um, I am in an open area, so um, when you're drilling these boards, sometimes the actual board itself gets hot. You don't really want to be breathing those fumes in. And I'm not wearing gloves because these tend to spin on you. And if you have gloves, you could get your finger caught in there. Now I have seen stuff spin like this, but I don't think this is going to spin and hurt me. If, if it does, it's just going to hit me in the hand. So um, I'm going to start the time lapse. We'll drill it out so you guys don't have to hear that nasty noise. And we'll see what's inside. So after years of struggling with this thing, um, the actual heads came off really easily, but these things were sneaky, tricky bastards. Um, but it has now come off. You can really see in the time lapse how freaking annoyed I was starting to get. This kind of feels like steel. The uh, shielding or heat this this piece here that is aluminum it's like aluminum tape um some of the stuff i've pulled off i've i've put in my aluminum pile but it's really just foil nothing really to uh hold on to in my opinion so now we have some other goodies here i believe now this should just pop off yep Now, I might be wrong on some of this, so let me know down in the comment section. I believe there's gold in here and in some of the bonding wire up here, as well as you see that IC chip here. This, I believe, is just copper. Though it looks gold, I think it's just copper. And I guess the best thing we'll, t we'll test would be a file or a magnet. I don't think they would put this much gold in there. I think that would just be stupid. Even if it was gold plating. It looks like it's just toned from the heat, to be honest. In this case, it really even only looks like aluminum you can see it's kind of white I don't know how well you guys can see that but it could also be brass I guess it does have a yellow tint but in my eyes it looks like aluminum I'll put it in, uh, in a, next to something else in case I'm wrong this here I know it's steel 
is it? So the arm itself is going to be aluminum. The bearing, the bearing here in the middle is going to be steel. So in my opinion, I'll just throw this whole thing into my gold recovery box. Um, these are real good magnets. Sticking to my magnet collection. Is this a magnet? What is this then? What is going on? Just a piece of steel. Huh. These are all steel. I don't know. I don't get it. I guess it's just a piece of steel. Probably to hold on to this one here. So. I wonder if I'll be able to get that one out. Usually those are painting obviously because it's steel. Holding on, being held on by steel. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense that there's another screw there. Just break it off. These are neodymium magnets. These are real good, strong magnets. Always got to be careful with these. You might crush your finger with those. So, with that being said, <coughs> excuse me. There's probably a way to get this off. Because all it is is most likely a bearing in here, and then this is the cap for it. I'm kind of dusting up all this. But I'm going to hit it with the drill right here and see if it'll release on this bearing or cap or whatever this is called. Okay, so what I did was I took a punch. The drill wasn't doing anything but pushing it down in there. But I just took a punch and just kind of pushed it out. Now I don't know how these are connected, whether it's screwed in or what, but these do have palladium in them, or at least some of them do. I'm not sure whether this does or not. Um, I will save this just in case it does and I'm missing out. Don't really have a place for them, so I'll just stick it in here for now, I guess. And then in here, you can see that there is a copper bearing motor. Looks like there's a magnet underneath there as well. Um, I got this off earlier. I don't know if you guys seen that. Um, real good IC chips in here. I don't see any gold legs or anything. Um, but here are some real good uh, gold pins as well. Like I said, I usually throw the whole chips just in my box and then with this there's probably a little bit of steel in here so it looks like the screws are not steel the only other steel that is in here seems to be whatever this mechanism is I'm assuming it's a magnet I wonder if I pop that out, well... Yeah, so that was it. There's a little piece of steel here. I'm not gonna drill through it just to get to that. Um, and then this little bonding wire here. Uh, I guess I'll take that out. There's probably something underneath there, I don't know. But this is a copper bearing motor. It's very light. You're really not going to be able to get that copper out. So what you're left with now is just your aluminum here. Um, whether or not they consider this dirty, I guess if they really looked at it. But if you do this right, it's a half pound. So every two, you're gonna get a pound of aluminum, which is not very much. I think it's at 40 cents a pound. Um, but really what you're gonna be after for these hard drives is obviously the palladium and the discs, if it does have it in there. The gold pins, which would be up here, 
that I just showed you guys and the aluminum is the top three. Aluminum, is it platinum or palladium? I think it's platinum. So gold, platinum, and aluminum is what you're gonna get out of these. Um, and then that little steel piece, which no one cares about. So this will go in the aluminum pile and that's it. If you, if I grab another one of these, So I have, well, that's not one, but I wanted to grab one of these smaller ones out. You can see this one actually has the um, micro precision screws on them. And then a smaller type of um, screw on there. T, I don't even know what they call this, T something. But sometimes you might even want to look online and check Samsung. Um, look for the serial number, the model number, and all that stuff. If you have the tool to wipe these out um, and resell them, maybe someone's looking for the Samsung, you know, I don't know. That one I just did, I didn't look it up. I probably could have, I guess, but some of these might actually have some value more than scrap. Obviously, with the amount of aluminum that there's in there, you're really not going to get too much. Obviously, every two, you're going to get a pound, which is 40 cents. The gold may be worth it, but... Then again, I'm not 100% sure on how much per pound is going to be for that. Unless you're selling it to someone to recover for you, which you're going to get half the gold or whatever you work out. So I hope you guys got informed pretty well on these. Um, to me, I just stick them all away. And some people will buy them, you know, as as is like this. They have the tools to take all this stuff off and this off safely and just get clean aluminum all that other stuff so yeah hope you guys enjoyed some of the bigger ones may be worth more some of the smaller ones may, may be worth more might want to just look into that but hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave me a like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about these um, tips and tricks um, I think the drill press is a good trick obviously but if you have the tools it's probably better all right guys take it easy